How are you doing drivers? So today I have a 2010 Nissan Sentra here with me and I have a problem with a transmission issue and I get to realize these vehicles give a lot of problem with stepper motors and I wouldn't invest in one of those in one of these vehicles anymore especially when it comes to the CVT transmission with the stepper motor um, I realize that these vehicles give him problem I would never invest my money in these vehicles anymore so to be honest, just giving a, giving a, you drivers any heads up. Maybe you guys lucky with one, but I would never tell my close people to invest in one of these cars, especially with this uh, CVT, you know? So I drive in and everything is good. All of a sudden it just stalled out, you know? Check it with my um, diagnostic tool, with my OBD2, or you can use one of these. Okay, so as I said before, just giving you guys a heads up on one of these. For instance, if I drive off right now before I reach one black, it's tall right out. So again, I'll see if I can. I got a whole lot um, transmission module with a stepper motor on top of it. So I'm gonna replace that and hopefully I can, you know, drive it again. If not, I just gotta do what I gotta do. We gotta get it, get, you know, get it sell or something. All right. So right now it's slow right down. So what I use what I do, I make sure I get a jack, drag it up on the side like this. Cause you want to make sure you get enough space and then you're going to take off the driver side wheel to get to the transmission whenever you take off the wheel make sure you put the wheel underneath the the brakes like that like the rotor just just for safety so what i'm going to do next i'm going to the plug for the transmission to for me to drain it i'm going to lose this then drain the transmission fluid so you just need like a bucket you need like a bucket like that just to make sure you have enough okay and I'm gonna drain it then these little screws around it I'm gonna loose that loose those out so but first I'm gonna drain the transmission fluid so after the transmission fluid drained out then we're going to remove all the small screws around the transmission pan. Okay. So for the transmission small nuts, you're going to use a 10 millimeter, but I would rather use a, a power tool to take off those because there's a lot of screws around the transmission pan. All right. So what I usually do before I take off the pan, I loosen up most of the screw from the from the like the smaller side and leave like you know screw up these but don't, I, don't, I didn't take these out take up most of those all the way in the front and as you can see you still have a lot more transmission fluid the reason why I do that because I don't want to take out every screws and then you have transmission fluid all over the place so you want to make sure leak out most of it first and then take off the pan So this is what the transmission pan look like. You want to look for anything like any little steel. Want to make sure you know nothing not shelling off in the transmission pan. So far, it don't look bad except the fluid a little dark. But see, this is this is maybe just a a little steel so far. So hopefully when I move the I remove the um whatever you call it the module, everything is fine. But these are the things you want to look for. Something like this can be a little issue. Okay. So, but so far it's not a lot. It's just a little piece. And then we move on to the module right now. So right now we're looking at the transmission module, and that's what we're gonna take down. And from there, I'll show you the top of that. Okay, so. The transmission module is very tricky, okay? The one 
on the vehicle this is this is what it's gonna look like same thing okay this is a stepper motor usually you can take off the stepper motor put on the other module but because this stepper motor come with the module I just gonna use everything I don't have to take off the stepper motor um, the screws is gonna be the f f five screws that you got to remove first from the one that on the car okay you got to be careful you don't want to move these screw all, all screw all over the screws all over the place then you're gonna detach then the um the module is gonna split there's a split here what but, but th those other screw hold these splits so you got to be careful it's gonna be first five screws and also you have other YouTube channels that you guys could check in some people do it different but I'm just doing it a faster way step a motor with the module and replace everything together okay I could I'm gonna show you what I could show you but so far that's how it is we're gonna do this is all the filter this is the top of the module and the other side is the bottom where you could see once you go on the transmission so you can as you can see all these screws so far this is very important don't take these off five you got to take five screws around here first one two three four five and then a couple of them all up the filter all right step by step I'm gonna show you also remember there's two two plugs and the transmission module you gotta you gotta plug it out before you take down the module remember the sensor plug remember you gotta detach these plugs one is green and one is black so be careful take this out first before you start to remove the module so what we're gonna do first is taking off the filter first okay it's gonna take off the filter first it's right here and you're gonna see more fluid comes out then you're gonna see that we're gonna after that we take out, take off the module again I'm gonna just show you the screws That's how the filter is, is, that's how the filter stay on the module, just like this. Screws underneath the bottom, you take it out, one, two, three, only three screws, then you drop the filter down.